All right, today is going to be a bit of a different video. If you are a business owner who's wanting to share links on Instagram and you are someone who wants to share links on Instagram and you don't know how to do that right now, I want to just clear things up a little bit. Sometimes I think everyone already knows everything, but I'm like, if you haven't had to use Instagram before, why would you know these things? And so I had a question two times this week, which doesn't happen often, where one of my YouTube commenters and one of my students in the co-creation club asked me the same question. So I want to give you a really quick answer on how you can do this. So what I'm answering today is how you can put links on your Instagram. And it's not as simple as it seems. And so there's probably two main things to know and the rules around these kind of things and how you can kind of put links onto your designs and share those out into the world. So let's get into it. So hi, if we haven't met, my name is Jackie. I am a graphic designer who loves teaching business owners how they can make their own incredible branding and graphics in Canva. And today's obviously a slightly different edge to it, but when you're creating graphics in Canva and you're running a business, you're undoubtedly probably also on Instagram and you need to know how to share links on Instagram too. Um, and so if you're interested in learning about business, about Canva, about Instagram, about everything to do with the visual world of running a business, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be up to date with everything I am sharing for you. You will love it. So I'm going to share my phone screen with you today and it's plugged in because it's on like 2% battery and I thought let's not run out of battery while I'm doing this. I'm going to step you through a few things. Now the first thing you need to know is that on Instagram at least at the time of recording this you cannot share links that are clickable except for in your stories of doing a very specific thing. You can't like some one of my students she tried to design a post and she put, she, she designed a beautiful post on, on, on Canva and then just wrote a link on that and said click here but unfortunately that doesn't work. Um, sometimes as a general, just side note, images don't carry links. So we can't save a PNG image or a JPEG image when, with a link in it. We can save PDF files with links in them, but you can't load PDF files into Instagram and have them preserve their links. And so we need to find our workarounds to those things. So on your posts and on your reels, you're going to need to direct people to the link in your bio, which I'm going to chat about soon. And on your stories, you can actually put what's called a link sticker on there. So I'm going to step through these three things and how you can use those for your business. So let's start with Instagram stories because back in the day, you couldn't actually do this. You had to reach 10,000 followers on Instagram to be able to add a swipe up feature where you could pop a link into your stories. Now, thank goodness, it's open to everyone. So all you need to do is go into your Instagram stories. So you can see my keyboard right here. You can either insert a graphic or you can just take a picture. So I'm just going to do a cheesy smile. And then what you can do, you can do this if you're doing a video, you can do this if you're uploading a video, you can do this if you're uploading an image. Like you could save a cool design from Canva, pop onto your phone and do this exact same process. It doesn't matter what kind of media you're using, you can always use this link sticker. So grab the link sticker by going to this little face at the top, 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 top line here. It's kind of in the middle of the four little, five little icons there. So click the little face icon and this kind of picks up all your different stickers. You can see you can mention other YouTube accounts. You can put little stickers. You can put music in here. You can do a poll or a question or anything. Thing, but you'll also see in the center here you've got a link option. This link option is incredible. So what you have to do is click on that link and in here you can type in any URL. So for me I'll type in my business thing. So you can either stop there and press done and you see here that when that the little, this little link kind of comes up and that is really really great because now when someone clicks on this in my story it's going to go straight to that website. But the better even better thing to do is I'm just going to delete that by dragging it and bringing it down to the trash can. I'm going to go in again and press link type in my, my, my URL again, and I can press this customize sticker button and it's going to let me write whatever text I want here. You can't like write a whole paragraph. It's got to be about a sentence long, but I could say click here to jump to my website and you can write anything you want in here. You could do a really clever call to action. You could make it really obvious, whatever you want, you can do that. And if I press done, you'll see that it now it has some custom text here. So it's explaining a little bit and kind of giving more of a prompt and a more specific action for people to take. I can then move this around. I can make it smaller. I can make it larger. And if I tap on it, you can see that it kind of changes what it looks like as well. So it tap, 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 and it gives you a few different options. So that's really, really helpful. So this is one of my favorite ways to share links in anything. So even if I'm doing a post where I have to actually direct people to the link in bio, which I'll chat about in a moment, sometimes I like to also post a story at the similar time with a link going straight to the right place because it's so much easier for people to just quickly click the link in my stories rather than going to my bio and finding the right link and moving on from there. So always, as much as you can, pop a link in your stories to make it really easy for your audience, whether you're just sharing a fun free resource, whether you're sharing a product, whether you're sharing a service, whatever it is, 
adding in that in can be really helpful. So next up, we want to talk about putting links into your posts. Now, as I mentioned, you cannot put links into your posts. If I type in a URL into my Instagram like captions or into my Instagram real captions, it's not going to be clickable. So people would have to literally like get their phone out and try to type it into their browser, which is no one's going to do that unless they're desperate for what you have to offer. We want to make it easy for people to do. So what you want to do instead is use the kind of the call to action called link in bio that directs people to click on your profile and then to go to your Instagram link in the bio and then click on that. So I'm going to show you a bit of that process. So this is just a pretend post I'm going to put up, um, just a photo of me. So in here I could write, yay, celebrating 10 K. And then I would write a whole thing here. And then if I wanted to say, like I'm promoting a YouTube video that I've gone along, that's a bit of a few couple of tips on how you can grow your own content. I would, I would type that content in and I would say, so link in bio to watch my video. I would do a much longer caption and much better call to action. That's actually going to convince people to want to click that link, link in the bio. But for now, I won't waste your time and you can kind of catch that vibe. And so I'd be directing people to click the link in my bio. So when they go to my actual account, so I just prompt them to go to my, my literal, my, my bio, my feed, my grid, and people go, go, go there. And you can see here that underneath my little bio text here, where it says Jackie Norton, it says, here's my podcast, here's this, here's that. You can see there's a little link here. And for me, if I cl if someone clicks on that, it actually opens up a whole little page where I've listed out all the links that I regularly mention, or I could add new ones in if I wanted to. So for me, I've got my quiz, I've got my YouTube, I've got my website, I've got my newsletter, all those things are kind of there. And so whatever anyone wants to find, hopefully I've mentioned in my link in bios, they can go to this link and they can find any of the links that they might want to go to for me. That way they can actually click on this. Like if I said, if I directed someone to the quiz, for example, they could literally click on the quiz button and it will take them directly to the quiz straight away without having to type any URLs in. So we want to make it really easy for our people. So the way that you can add your own link in bio is go to the edit profile button. And then you want to go down to the link section here, and then you can actually type in one link or five links. So Instagram has recently allowed you to add more than one link. That's only a, a new update, which is really, really helpful as well. I've chosen just to leave the one link because I've already had that set up in a way that I'm really happy with. But if you wanted to, you can just press add external link. And again, you can type in the URL, like say if I paste in my website, and I could say my website there, press done. And then when someone actually clicks on the link in my bio now, if I just duck out of this, you can see that there's, it's, it's showing that there's two links. Someone can click on that and it will say, do you want to go to the bio site or do you want to go to my website? And it kind of gives people options of what to click on. So you can customize those links doing whatever you're promoting at the time so that someone can always easily find what you need. Um, now you might've noticed for me, I have a fancy link in bio. I've used so many different apps for this over the years. You can use Canva to create a really funky looking link in bio that's got all of your links listed out. You can use Linktree. You can use anything you kind of want. Me, I use an app called Unfold. This is not sponsored at all. I don't have the paid version of it. It's this app where you can actually just customize a really beautiful mini website for yourself. So this one here is mine. So what I can do is go in and I can press, um, I can update the profile and what everything kind of looks like. So it's all really helpful and really there and just really beautiful, which is something I appreciate as a graphic designer. So remembering on Instagram, you can't actually share links within your posts or within your reels, but you can within stories, but you have to not just write text or save an image from Canva that has a link on it. You have to actually add that link in using the link sticker, or you can just direct people to the link in your bio. But if you're doing stories, always add that link sticker in. Don't make people go to the extra effort of finding the link in your bio because you can do that link. But if you're just doing a standard post or a reel or anything like that, always direct people back to the link in your bio. But remember to give them a reason in your caption, kind of build up why you want someone to click on that link. Why is it going to help them? Why is it going to benefit them to click on that link? So I hope you found that helpful. If you've got any more questions around what this looks like or how to add links to things, pop it in the comments below and I will get back to you personally to help you kind of work this out because there's so many just random things you need to know about these things and I hope that that has been really helpful for you. So thank you for joining me. Again, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button, hit subscribe if you're not already and I will see you next week for another video. Bye.